Tonight, the police are searching for the killer of a pastor and her two grandsons who were found dead over the weekend in a Sacramento apartment. Police found their bodies in an apartment on Broadway Saturday night. CBS 13's Angela Masalam is live in Sacramento now where one woman says she first met that pastor. Angela? Well, Sam Christina, this is one of many homes that Pastor Christine Lucas visited during her time as an advocate for mothers and their children. Today, we spoke with Sasha Vogt, one of those mothers who calls the pastor her guardian angel. This itty bitty place, I lived with five kids. Um, Miss Tina would come over twice a week. Memories came flooding into Sasha Vogt's mind when she came to visit this home Monday, a place where she once lived for more than a decade. I can picture her, I can see her standing right here. Right next to that rose bush. Vote says Pastor Lucas was working for Sacramento County's Head Start program when she met her. She worked with me um, from the time I was pregnant with my third child. That was a time in my life when I was trying to get some structure. Vote says she was living with an abusive man who used to beat her children until Pastor Lucas stepped in. She was always just a shoulder to cry on. And she's going to be missed. Diane Lestrick is a close family friend of the Lucas family. She says Pastor Lucas was like a mother to her and a rock. The wisdom that she had that she poured into me that helped me to know that I can't make it, that I can't stand. Denzel Williams grew up with Marquise and says he remembers him always being full of joy. If he was down for you, he was down for you. And he loved you. Grieving family members did not want to speak with us on camera Monday, but said James had just graduated from Heritage Peak Charter School in Sacramento. Marquise was working for the Conservation Corps and was a father to a little girl. We'll continue to honor her. Vote now works for Yolo County's Head Start program to help mothers and their families the same way she says Pastor Lucas helped her family. My work I do every day. I honor Miss Tina. Such a tragedy to hear a family of such great faith killed. Police still searching for whoever did this and we're getting word an autopsy could be scheduled for sometime tomorrow to determine how the three family members were killed. All right, Angela, thank you very much. Live for us tonight in Sacramento.